Hey scholars, I want to take a moment to talk to you about SMART goals. SMART is an acronym. It stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. SMART goals are a very useful way to break down your dreams and ambitions into something that you can track and make sure is actually attainable. So the S stands for specific. This is something that's direct. It has detail to it. It's not um, just some vague hope of having, you know, um, a comfortable life someday. What does comfortable mean to you? What does that look like? Being specific about what those details are. Measurable is the M. So can it be tracked? What does progress look like? Uh, maybe if you want to get good grades, again, what does good mean to you? What are those specific grades and how can you track your progress toward that goal? Is it achievable? Is this something that you have the ability to do? Uh, we'd all love to win the lottery, I'm sure, but we don't really have control over that. So it's not a very realistic or achievable goal. Even if you're buying lottery tickets, you don't have much impact on the actual outcome. So it's not very achievable. Is it relevant? Does it align with what you are working on, what your goals are, your vision, your values? If you're working on something and it doesn't really relate to who you want to be as a person, maybe reconsider what you're working toward and set goals that are more tailored to who you are and who you want to be. And of course, is it time bound? Does it have some kind of deadline or tracking? Is there a certain point where you're going to know if you did it or not? Um, you can create new SMART goals when you achieve certain steps, but how will you know when that time has lapsed? Is it a three month window? Is it a 20 year interval? What does the end date and timeline look like uh, before you start up on a new goal? So take a moment to reflect on what your SMART goal is for this quarter and write it out. It should be something that is more specific than just getting good grades or stepping outside your comfort zone. Think of something that you want to accomplish. Think about the things that you identified in the first part of your questionnaire. Uh, if you want to work on doing better note-taking, how are you going to do that? What does better note-taking look like? How are you going to measure that? What is the outcome? What's your timeline? If you want to improve your mental health, what steps are you going to take to do that? How can you track this? Um, think about the things you included here or something else on your own to uh, create a tangible goal for yourself. And of course, remember that we are here to help you if you have any questions or need guidance along the way.